Hi, my little angels. Come on in. Get yourselves in here. Pull up a chair. Or sit on the floor. I'm on the floor. <laughs> I'm glad that you're here. I know today is a hard day. I know. And that's what we're here for. We're going to work on it together, okay? You're not alone. You're never alone, I promise. In fact, I see new people. There's even more of us not alone together. <laughs> Hi. Please come in. I'm glad you're here. If you like what you see, you can like it, you can share it. I love comments. I'd love to hear from you. And please hit that subscribe button below. I'd really appreciate it. And I see my returners. You guys know. You know you're safe here. Okay? Everybody is safe here. This is a safe place and everybody is welcome. Thank you all so much for coming. So I did do two videos. One was like a, basically a video Christmas card. And this one is specifically for those of you that Christmas is hard for. And Christmas can be hard for a whole lot of reasons. Um, you could have some angst with your family, some drama. You could feel alone today. You could be at a new place and not have someone to celebrate with today. You could be missing someone who's not here. You could be missing someone who has passed on. That's where I am today. I'll be honest. Um, I'm looking forward to celebrating with my husband and daughter tomorrow. It'll be really the first Christmas is just the three of us and it'll be quiet. I even told them they don't even have to get dressed tomorrow. We can all just stay in our pajamas. Um, which I kind of like the idea of. But there's many, 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 many reasons. And maybe you don't celebrate Christmas at all. Maybe it's not your religion or it's just not your thing. And you're getting kind of down on all the hype that everybody's giving it. It's all okay, guys. Okay, you're not alone. You don't have to celebrate anything by yourself. I'm here. And let's talk. Okay? I did give you some tips and tricks on dealing with people. Um, days like Christmas and holidays and New Year's, oh, New Year's especially. Um, sometimes we need a little bit of a tool belt with all kinds of tools on how to deflect away from us. So that if people say or put us in the center of attention and we don't want to be there, we don't have to be there. Um, so you can look back at a couple of videos, but the easiest way is to get someone else talking about themselves. And then you, you can just kind of zone out and just nod every once in a while, you know. People like to talk about themselves usually, um, but some of us introverts, not so much. <laughs> but do what makes you feel comfortable. And if you're sitting home and your dinner is a box of craft dinner or beans on toast or leftover pizza so what do me a favor set the table set the table for yourself you know why because you're worth it you're worth the little extra effort set the table i don't care if you put the tv at the other end of the table or have the radio blaring or read a book while you're eating your dinner it's all good but set the table you deserve to have nice things. You deserve to feel special, okay? And if you just hate the whole idea of a whole day stretched ahead of you alone, go for a walk. You'll see other people out walking too. They're alone too. Um, if you can do it, volunteer somewhere. All the missions and the food banks, they can all use some hand, especially Christmas Day. If you show up, I guarantee you they will put you to work. And if you don't want to do that, that's okay too. Do something special for just you, okay? Now, why don't we put our thinking caps together and think of things you can do, I can do, we can do, that will make us feel a little better. How about a spa bath? And all that means is take a bath, turn the lights out, 
light a candle as far away from the shower curtain as you can get. Or if you don't have a candle, turn on a flashlight and plop it on your counter or your phone, plop it on the counter. Although that makes it hard to watch videos, but you know what I mean. And just relax. Cut a couple slices of cucumbers and put them on your eyes. Make yourself feel special because you are special, okay? There's nothing wrong with you. You're perfect just as you are. And as Marker Darcy said to Bridget Jones, I like you just as you are. And I did do a self-care questionnaire yesterday, so I'd appreciate it if you took a look at that and maybe followed along with it because there's some tips in there that you should be saying to yourself because I don't want anyone making you feel less, and that includes you, okay? I want you to celebrate you, because I think you're amazing, okay? You're special. You're part of the ASMR community. You're not alone. And you know what? You're watching this to make yourself feel better, which tells me you are self-aware, you are productive, and you're a smart cookie. Oh, cookies. <laughs> That's the one thing. Every one of these Hallmark movies, there's always plates of these Christmas decorated Christmas cookies. Where are people getting them? Okay, I can't make them. I'm a good baker, but I'm not a great decorator. But I'm telling you, there are plates and plates of them. I've been to bakeries. No. I can go to Starbucks and get one of those snowman cookies for 430 calories. But they're like this thick. I like the, the thin, crispy ones. But anyways, that's just my, that's my first world problem. <laughs> but I don't want you to think that, oh, there's something wrong with me because I don't have anyone to spend Christmas with. Half the world doesn't have somebody to spend Christmas with. It's okay. It really is. And we are. We're spending some time together. I like spending time with you. And we can have Christmas dinner together if you want. Turn this video on and we'll eat together. And like I said, I don't care if it's pizza, beans on toast, craft dinner, filet mignon, whatever you want to eat, let's have it. What am I having? Oh, well, tonight we're going to go to Mass for the Christmas Eve Mass. And we've already got potatoes 90% cooked. So when we get home, I'll pop the potatoes into finished cooking. I've got Brussels sprouts cut up and ready to be put in a pan of bacon drippings. Yes, they're drippings. Some people call it bacon fat. It's bacon drippings um, to be fried up. And then I'm going to throw some cranberries and balsamic on it. And um, Uncle Angel's going to fry up a steak. And that's our dinner tonight. And easy peasy because we're going to be late coming home from church. And then, and we're not late eaters. Like, we usually eat at 6, 6.30. So tomorrow for Christmas dinner, we're having a ham. And it's a spiral cut ham, so it's already cooked. I just have to glaze it. And the glaze I use is... Okay, first I cover the whole thing with mustard. And I have this great Oktoberfest mustard. It's kind of a sweet, tangy mustard. So I put that all over, but any mustard will do. Pat on brown sugar. And then the glaze is Coca-Cola, just a can of Coke poured over the top. And then I take a can of crushed pineapple and pour it over the top. And then it, I think it's going to cook probably for two hours, two and a half hours on low, like 325. And I'll just be glazing it throughout the cooking time. And then when I serve it, I have pineapple rings with maraschino cherries and I'll brush those with maple syrup and just put them under the broiler for three minutes and then I'll put them around the ham and we're going to have mashed potatoes and I make my life easy guys I make my mashed potatoes ahead of time I put them in a pan you can put cheese on top or dot butter and then just pop them in the oven you know for 20 minutes to warm up it's easy peasy and then probably peas and bacon um, with a little bit of wine for the veg. And then dessert we made today, um, which was individual 
white chocolate caramel cheesecakes. And don't be overly impressed. They're as easy as dirt, I'm telling you now. <laughs> um, super easy to make. People get really impressed because they see individual cheesecakes. The recipe I have is actually for white chocolate cheesecake, but um, it's a can of condensed milk. I have my lactose-free coconut condensed milk, but I had a can of dolce de leche. So I asked them if they'd rather have the regular, or if I can use some with lactose, um, because Baby Angel and I are sensitive, but we're not lactose free yet. Um, and they both said, caramel, caramel, caramel. <laughs> so um, we made those today because they really need to sit in the fridge overnight to really set up. And they're so silky and creamy, and they're so easy. They are so, so easy to make, you guys, literally. Um, if anybody wants the recipe, in the video, the Christmas Carol video I just did, not Christmas Carol, Christmas card video, the recipe's in that one. You can just um, click on and write it down, and I gave measurements, everything. It's super easy, super, super easy. Um, but that's, my, my husband and I, Uncle Angel and I, we are all about, um, we do things ahead of time as much as we can, so that when, especially if we have company, I want to spend my time with the company. I don't want to spend my time in the kitchen while everybody else is having a good time. So we try to do as much as we can ahead of time. And I don't want to be exhausted. You know, my health isn't the greatest. And, you know, I can get overwhelmed and exhausted pretty easily. So this way, I am, I've never had a Christmas like we're going to have tomorrow. I really haven't. Um, where it's just the three of us and we have no place to go and nothing to do but enjoy each other's company. And that's what we're gonna do. Although, at some point tomorrow, probably in the early afternoon, uh, Toronto time, I'm gonna try to do a live feed. Just to say hi and Merry Christmas. And for those of you that are alone, hop on so you, you have someone to talk to. I'll talk to you as much as you want. And Uncle Angel is going to make a guest appearance. I'm hoping Baby Angel will, but I haven't asked her yet. But Uncle Angel is all gung-ho to pop on and say hello. He's not going to stay long, um, but once he does it once, maybe I can talk him into maybe a Q&A someday, and you guys can ask him all kinds of questions, anything you want. Did I show you my new nails? Check it out, guys. I had chrome nails done. I think they're so cool. It was the coolest experience too, because when she first painted my nails, they were black, which I have no problems. I like black nail polish, but I'm like, that's not the color I picked. I picked this coppery color. And then she brought out this little thing that looked like glitter eyeshadow and an eyeshadow applicator. And I'm like, that's not gonna turn into chrome. She rubs it on and it's like magic, it's chrome. So I was really pleased with that. So yeah, <laughs> and what else? Might do some baking tomorrow. Um, we always make as a family, um, I usually do a lot of Christmas baking. This year, not so much. Um, but we always as a family make these things called candy cane cookies. And they're basically a sugar, sugar cookie slash shortbread cookie. But you make two doughs, one you dye red, and one stays white, or you can do it green, it's up to you. And we, you twist them together and bake them and form a candy cane. Now, usually we flavor the mint, um, but this year Baby Angel said, can we do like the white ones almond flavored and the uh, red ones vanilla and no mint? And I said, that's fine with me. I have no issues with that. I do have some sanding sugar to make them sparkly because, you know, everything's better with a little sparkle. <laughs> It never fails. And everyone is going to wait for me to answer that phone. Let's hope. Nope. And the voicemail is going to come on. So sorry about that, guys. Hello. Please leave a message after the tone. This is my senior Pat. It's an Edward okay. I'm calling to wish you and your family a very, very Christmas. Okay. So there's a... Um, a very Merry Christmas to you guys from Armand Senior. Because I know um, 
the church we used to belong to, actually the church we got married in, we're still kind of on their mailing list, even though we attend another church. But he's very big with technology and he'll do the um, telephony system where he sends out broadcast messages. So A, I think that's really nice to just call and wish people a very Merry Christmas. And it's kind of fortuitous that we're on, I'm on with you guys and you can hear it too. So see, you're not alone. I'm telling you. And I know Christmas can be hard for different reasons. If you're missing people, do me a favor. Think about them. Let yourself miss them. But don't forget the people that are here. And I say this from experience, you guys. You neglect the people that are with you because you're missing the people who aren't. A, it's not fair. It's not productive. And it doesn't do you any good either. So it's okay to miss people. It's okay to verbalize that you miss them. It's good that you verbalize it. But celebrate the ones that you are with. Okay? And if Christmas is hard for you because you're alone right now, maybe you move to a new place. Or maybe everyone's busy. Or maybe you didn't get invited somewhere. Which always sucks. Because... What I hate about that is after Christmas, somebody will find out that you were, oh, you could have come to us. Well, you could have invited, you know, but that's neither here nor there. Don't worry about it, okay? Half the world is alone today. They really are. And just celebrate who you are because I think you're so amazing. I really do. I absolutely adore you guys. And I adore what you've done for me. I, I cannot put in words how grateful I am to you guys. I really can't. You've made my life grow so much better. And I mean this from the bottom of my heart. My tomorrows are so much better because you're in them, okay? I never want you to forget that. And I may not be much, but I promise you I'm here for you. I got your back. I told you once, I own all of my 56 years. I have learned some things. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a counselor. I'm just me. But I do know how to love. And I do love you guys. I really do. So I will let you go for now. And I hope you tune in tomorrow for the live. Like I said, it'll probably be early afternoon. I'll put, you know what I'll do? I'll try to post going live in half an hour type of thing. Okay. But always remember that I love you and I value you. I honor you. And I'm so very, very glad that you were born.